The musical quartet Jello Slave is experimental in more ways than one. The obvious way is that there are two cellists at the front, Michelle Kinney and Jacqueline Olton, but beyond that, their music is all over the map, uh, from jazz, rock, classical, and hybrids, and compositions that are unclassifiable. And you'll hear pieces of all that right now during a rehearsal as Jello Slave gets ready for its CD release. The new album is called Purple Orange. There are cover tunes and originals. Let's listen to it and talk with the group on this edition of Three Minute Egg. We both actually kind of started talking and realized that we had a very similar dream band in mind. We, we both had this idea that two cellos, two drums, and two saxophones would be the coolest band ever. We both wanted to be able to do all the various elements, you know, musically that we could do with the cello. So be melodic, be rhythmic, be percussive. You know, we, we both really get off on doing all of those things. Being classically trained, but also really interested in all kinds of music, rock and jazz and improvisation and, and exploration and just playing lots of different kinds of music. It's also the nature of the instrument, that it can play both bass lines and accompaniment parts and soloistic parts. So we could, as a duo, trade off those roles and cover a lot of territory. It took a lot of work though to really make this kind of setup gel because normally you don't hear cellos play with, with drums so it was like I think cellos have a tendency to be a little more legato at times and it makes us sort of think more like cellists. I felt like playing with two cellists you didn't have that really heavy low end anchor and it, it's such a vocal instrument I felt like it's almost like playing with a singer just a vocalist, you have to really flex more. You know, even though there's a lot of rhythmic stuff going on, you still have to flex within that. It's not quantized in any way. Two of the compositions that are on the CD, I, I specifically wrote for this band in mind. Um, you know, the sounds of the two cellos, the way we can work together, the way the percussion can work with us. And, um, and on this CD, we wanted to really represent the organic, the most organic live quality of this band, which is what we did. We recorded live in the studio. Our goals have changed. I mean, I think that, you know, we didn't know, you know, that we were going to become this quartet, you know, and it's, um, it's just been a logical progression all along, you know, our decisions, you know, to add drums and then to add tablas and, you know, it just all made sense at the time. And, you know, I think now we feel like we have a really solid quartet and, you know, we want to go overseas and we want to play at festivals. Jealous Slave is kind of a love fest, you know, it's, I mean, we love the music that we do and we love to play together, but we also really love each other. You know? 